Good morning, guys. Welcome to week six. Um, we only have week six, week seven, and then week eight. So a couple of reminders. One is you've turned in essay three. So what you're looking for now is the research paper. Guys, I'm going to give you as much many resources as I possibly can to help you complete this. Um, but it is up to you to keep up with deadlines and read everything that you see in the modules. They're going to be very important. Um, with the brainstorming activity, a couple of things I noticed. Um, make sure you have a clear characteristic. Um, some of you are muddling characteristics. In other words, you might be separating um, words, like trying to make explosive behavior when that's explosive, inappropriate anger, or you're putting paranoia and anger together. Make sure you look at that PowerPoint that I provided in last week's module to help you know clear characteristics so that your um, examples aren't confusing and it kind of messes up the content of your paper. If you have questions on any of those characteristics, do um, send me a Canvas message. Um, your essay threes will be returned to you on Wednesday morning, so um, be on the lookout for those. Um, okay, so week six, what do we have going on? The first thing we're going to do, and this is all research paper, um, and I will come back later um, and kind of line, outline the dates and everything for that. For now, know this week you have two assignments. One is a discussion board, and the second is your outline. The outline is big. I'm not giving you a lot of assignments this week because I need you to really work on that outline. The first assignment is a discussion board. Um, all it's going to do is you're going to take one of the characteristics, and let's take your best one, okay? Take your best characteristic and outline a scene and how Annie's actions or behavior works with that characteristic. You don't need to do anything film review wise or film devices because SA3 really, you know, helped you do that and so we'll easily add that into the research paper. So this week, if you'll see, it just says complete the discussion board assignment, characteristic plus a scene from misery, follow the directions, um, click on it, here it is. Um, pick a characteristic. Um, I have attached the PowerPoint so that you can easily look and find a characteristic in case you don't have one in mind. Um, find a quote that further explains the characteristic you picked. So you're going to go to those two articles that I gave you last week um, and I'll show you where um, where to find those in just a minute. Um, what well, tells you week six module. Make sure you include a lead in with the author's last name and a citation. So if you were going to do the first one according to Desprez, and then you're going to put the comma, add your quotation mark, quote one sentence, and then you count what paragraph it's in, okay? Questions about that? Send me a Canvas message. If you're doing the second one, the second borderline article, according to Goliath and Davidson, same thing, paragraph 15, all right? Then pick a scene from Misery and explain it briefly, how either what Annie says or what she does or both. Um, what she does in the scene portrays your characteristic. Give me something more than one sentence, okay? And then include the link to the YouTube um, clip as well. What I'm doing is giving people ideas, letting people see how they're mixing their characteristic with the scene. Um, and you're not going to be able to look at anybody else's until you submit yours first, but then you're going to be able to kind of dive through or dive in and look and see what other people are doing. But this is really just taking one of your characteristics and kind of expanding on it from the brainstorming sheet from last week. Okay, um, that is due Wednesday. Okay, let's get that in Wednesday before on or before 11.59. Um, uh, okay. All right, let's go back to our overview. All right, so after you do that, we're going to be working on the outline. Okay, now I have given you this film terms handout to help you with the completion of your outline. This is any and every film device that you could possibly use, and a lot of you have already used them. But as you look through basic film terms, um, shot, scene, montage, you probably won't be using any of those. Those are just terms that you know you need to know. You're not going to say a shot because that's really not necessarily a film device. But when you start seeing these definitions with page numbers, 
for parallel action. Some of you did really nice jobs with those in SA3 when um, she comes home and Paul is out of his bed where he's not supposed to be. Y'all talked about how you could see what Paul's doing in Annie and it was parallel action and it was very nicely done. Close-ups, long shots, medium shots, tracking shots, all of those things, reverse, subject shot, subjective shots, and then this is this is really comprehensive and it's great. I would download this for sure, okay? Um, these things that have page numbers, we're going to be using a handbook or a textbook with these film definitions in your paper. You won't have to do it for the outline, but you will have to do it for the research paper. Um, the final copy so you know when we do the draft I'll show you how to do that but I'm going to photocopy these pages with these terms so you'll be able to quote them easily in your um, paper but for right now let's download this handout right here make sure you have that on hand okay um, let's see here are the links to the two articles for your um, discussion board where I want you to quote where if you picked um, inappropriate anger then you find a quote that goes with inappropriate, inappropriate anger and you put that in your discussion board and I'm going to give you comments to kind of say hey you didn't do this right or you did this right so it's really going to help you as you continue to try to quote in your paper as well um, okay here's our outline so you're definitely going to want to download it so you can type on it um, guys this is your paper okay it is exhaustive. It's every sentence you're going to use. Um, you'll see paragraph one, which is your introduction paragraph. It's one page. Um, think of a question or other interesting statement that introduces the idea of mental illness. Guys, follow this. If you are following this, you are doing well in this class or you are making it. Okay. A lot of you aren't using topic sentences that I've suggested. You're not using any kind of the template and you're killing yourself in the course. Okay. This is handmade for you here. Okay. So go through it. Brief bridge sentence that mentions the BPD disorder is a common mental illness that is depicted in horror films. Um, simple definition of your disorder. So what you're using right here is probably the Gully and Davidson um, article. And you're simply going to say according to Gully and Davidson, comma, and then put the definition and then what paragraph you find it. I do have a sample later on that will show you that. Um, then... Let's see, let me go back because I'm going to show you a little bit more of the outline. And then um, you're going to have, here's your example thesis. Okay. Now, it keeps going. It's long because it's every single paragraph. Okay, so here's the first body paragraph. This is where you put one characteristic of borderline personality is inappropriate anger. Use a quote from the disorder article. So you could technically take your discussion board that you complete Wednesday and flesh it out into sentences here. Bridge sentence. In the film, Annie portrays his characteristic in the scene where she finds out misery is dead. And then explain how your character's actions and dialogue, anything she says or does that supports that she's angry and it just doesn't make sense because she is manically angry. All right, then you keep going. Same scene. So you say the film devices and techniques in the scene where Annie finds out that misery is dead help to further emphasize inappropriate anger or her anger. You put the characteristic in that blank. So the scene from the previous paragraph goes here and your characteristic goes here. Okay. One film device used, analyzed, portrayed, in this scene is lighting. Okay. And then right here, oh, I keep doing that, don't I? And then you say, explain what the film device is, how it's used, and how it's used to portray the characteristic of your disorder. So you tell me how lighting further shows your anger. Well, if she is in a, just a moment of intense anger and that lighting is bright and in her face, almost like a spotlight, well, it's highlighting the fact of her anger. Okay. That's what connections you're trying to make. Another film device used in this scene is camera shots. And then you would talk about the camera shot. If, or cam, camera angles might be better for that scene where the, um, she's being filmed from a low angle, which makes her look big and scary and domineering and really angry. So that's a way to connect it there. All right, and then you start over. Another characteristic, and you do the same thing, rinse and repeat. Now, this is a sample outline that will help. Um, in the first paragraph, I simply added, um, 
you don't have to have two sentences each, but the black is one example. The red is another example. I just gave you two because some people have a really hard time sometimes doing what I'm asking them to do. So lots of examples. These are suggestions. Use your own original words. You have them, use them. Here's that definition. You could copy and paste that. That's exactly what you need right there. And then there is um, um, the thesis. Okay. Now this is based on Carrie, Martha White from Carrie, not our Annie. Okay. So that that's different for you there. Um, and I give you the first characteristic, and I give you the paragraph after that. And that's really all you need because everything else is rinse and repeat. So do look at the outline, look at the sample before you start um, bouncing in on yours. Okay. So when you finish your outline, which is pretty exhaustive and it'll take a while, um, you have all week to do this, Sunday, um, that's where you'll turn it in right there. Now, next week we will be doing the draft, and that for you on this one will be the intro, the first body paragraph about the characteristics with Annie's actions and words, and then the next paragraph where you have the same scene, but you're talking about film devices. Um, so you will have to do three paragraphs for the draft, but that's next week, outline this week. Um, to prepare for that though, you need to go ahead, I have added in here two film reviews. Um, and these are two that I've found that I think would work well, okay? But also if you click right here, um, you can find a ton of film reviews on Misery. You don't necessarily have to use the ones I'm using right here. You need to go ahead and read these because you will have to integrate these two um, articles with some quotes in your papers, okay, in your essay. And right here is an example of how in another paper about Carrie, film reviews were um, integrated in a paper, okay. Doesn't have to be in a specific paragraph, that's going to be up to you, but that's just simply something in preparation for next week, okay. All right, so this week, um, discussion board by Wednesday, outlines by Sunday. Um, any questions you may have about any of this, please send me a message in Canvas messages. All right, thank you.